Hello, welcome to Flynn's World. Uh, today I was a bit busy, so I sent my husband off uh, on a shopping spree at the uh, Queensland um, Finch Society Bird Expo. It was at Strathpine, Brisbane. Uh, he's, he's actually done a really good job. He bought a couple of birds. So I wanted uh, you to see the birds that he saw today and then um, we'll come back to what uh, surprises he brought home for me. You like those doves? Yeah, can we have them? Um, can we get the doves?
welcome back to Fling World. We're going to talk about the Queensland Finch Society Bird Show or Bird Expo that went on today and the unboxing of our beautiful new birds that we're going to add to our aviary. We've got um, a pair of Melbas and we've got a pair of Napoleon Weavers. One of the things about these birds is that for them to breed, we need to provide live food. So we've set up um, a system for um, mealworms and we also dig through the compost to get some bugs as well. The aviary we've planted out with uh, plants and it's, it's quite open so that we're hoping a lot of bugs, spiders, insects will just naturally come into the, to the aviary for these birds to feed off. Uh, we are trying to provide a natural, natural ecosystem uh, as best we can within our limited space. At the Bird Expo, uh, a lot of the birds, when, they're, when you buy them, they actually come with a carry box. Um, this is just a quite a simple design, but it's very effective. It's opened one side, enclosed the rest, and easy to get the birds in and out at the top here. If uh, you want to buy a bird that does not come with a box, the box has to meet the specifications of the Finch Society and it's for the well-being of the birds that we buy. So only one face of the box can be open. This is to decrease the stress on the bird um, and you need an area where you can put the bird in and out uh, safely. So uh, this was actually... Uh, now we're going to take the birds into the aviary. It's still the morning and that's the best time to release birds into an aviary. Uh, if you leave it too late in the day, it can cause a lot of stress and unfortunately uh, the birds may not survive overnight. So uh, we're going to go take them into the aviary, get them all settled so that um, they can calm down, find a place to nest for the night. Um, before we release the birds into our aviary, I just wanted to mention that if you're unable to release your new purchases in the aviary in the morning, uh, put them inside somewhere quiet, reduce stress, um, and then wait until the next morning to release them. When we release the birds, they're going to search through the aviary for their water, their food, and a great place to nest at night time. Uh, and the way that um, this routine is established is the fact that they are safe, they are watered, they are fed, and we reduce the risk of night fright killing off our, our new birds. Uh, I just wanted to show you the Napoleon Grenadine Weavers. They're not too happy with me and it's, it's just biting me. Uh, so the male and the female bit to get out of the cage. It doesn't hurt. The reason why I can't just open the door to let these birds out is because it's got a little bit of rubber. So you have to actually open up to get them out. Whereas uh, the next box that we have, it's just got a lid. You can just open it up and they come out in their own time. So this is the Melba released, the male. He seems very friendly. It's really fun to watch their personalities and the interaction with them when they're in the aviary. I'm not sure if this is a normal Melba response or if it just seems quite tame. My Avery, the fun Avery, uh, this is a Avery my husband built for me for Mother's Day. The, the plants are actually growing really well in here and we are getting insects and spiders. Um, I think it feels more natural than some of the other Averys I've seen. I, I'm hoping to, for it to get bushier, but I am happy with how it's going. I know. We actually made another nesting chamber hanging up and providing a lot more um, nesting materials. Hopefully that encourages them to have uh, some brooding instincts going on and we've also got a setup with the live food. We have a lot of native plants in this aviary. Uh, we have the lamandra, the glarasses. We've got small bushes. Um, there's a, I think I actually did plant some lavender in here, but it didn't survive very well. 
um, other grasses that I bought from the hardware store, if they were natural um, or native, I mean, um, I felt that they would go well in here. Um, the animals, um, the birds seem to like nipping on them sometimes, but they're growing better than in our other aviary where we have the canaries. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the content and please comment if you'd like to know more or if you'd like us to focus on um, a certain type of video. Um, if you could like my video, that would be brilliant. And uh, we'll see you again soon. Bye.